The COVID-19 pandemia has been something that has changed our life as individuals and as a community. We were faced with the unknown of a new enemy and new diseases. We were confronted with confusion, with lack of information, uh, fake news. And then vaccines came. Batches of the vaccine have started to arrive at Primi hospital. Primi 875 dosi di vaccini anti-Covid. 1.200.000 dosi di vaccini da Pfizer. Recibieron las primeras dosis de la vacuna contra Covid. Está COVID. aterrizando el avión con el primer embarque de las 300.000 dosis. The beginning of the end of the pandemic. The Tekin Group of companies are present in more than 50 countries with our industrial operations and our projects. We also have Humanitas, that is a network of hospitals that are based in Italy and are very well recognized globally. In 2020, when the COVID pandemic started, Dalmine and Bergamo were the epicenter of the pandemic. Humanitas led a scientific study in 2,000 volunteers that were part from our companies and our communities. In uh, this study, we analyzed the immune response after vaccination of seven different vaccines. More specifically, what we did was to analyze the antibody response to the protein, which is um, mostly present in the different vaccines uh, that were in uh, four different countries, including Brazil, Mexico, Italy and uh, Argentina. The objective principal was to evaluate the effectiveness, security and for how long time podrían durar los anticuerpos después de completar tu esquema de vacunación. Este es uno de los estudios más robustos en donde se compara la seguridad y eficacia de dichas vacunas y de esa manera podemos obtener información de cuál pudiera ser la mejor opción en cuanto a un balance de efectos adversos y de eficacia para la población en general. We had to do an important step, which was to have the same protocol, a unified protocol in terms of timing after the doses of vaccines, and also to use the same uh, diagnostic tool which we shared among the different four countries. Tuvimos diferentes momentos, que fue antes de la vacunación, después de la primera dosis, después de la segunda dosis, y posteriormente a los tres, a los seis meses y al año. A riqueza dada por países diferentes participar de un estudio tiene a ver con la riqueza de la diversidad populacional. Personas con genética diferente, culturas diferentes, hábitos alimentarios diferentes. El gran desafío acá en Argentina fue, en medio de una situación de, de ansiedad y miedo cuando la mayoría de las personas no habían tenido COVID, con mucho miedo a acercarse a los hospitales, con mucho miedo a padecer la enfermedad y a muchos había que explicarle lo que era un anticuerpo, que no eran ellos solos, sino que nos sumábamos a un mega estudio donde la importancia también era participar de, justamente de, de esas respuestas que todo el mundo estaba esperando. Esa gente había estado muy cuidada en su casa y tenía necesidad de que le hicieran un estudio para ver si esa, esa vacuna le hacía efecto. We needed to analyze a huge amount of data, uh, and so we had our data scientists that allowed us to, to do this by using artificial intelligence tools in order to uh, put together the data coming from the different countries. So the data traveled all around the world. And then uh, we had the opportunity to put this together with our data scientists very quickly. The results obtained clearly indicate that the various vaccines that have been used, including CoronaVac and Sputnik, elicit, induce a good antibody response. At the same time, we looked at adverse events and the mRNA vaccines, the Moderna, BioNTech and BioNTech slash uh, Pfizer, elicit worse side effects, including headache, fever, malaise, pain, uh, compared to the CoronaVac uh, and Sputnik and other vaccines. O estudo reforça o papel da vacinação no enfrentamento da pandemia, aumenta a confiança do nosso trabalhador com relação ao papel das vacinas e, por último, sinaliza a preocupação do Grupo Tequente 
com a saúde e segurança dos nossos trabalhadores. We feel very proud of this collaboration among the different hospitals and this is still a work in progress and I'm happy that uh, this will continue maybe also for other different types of projects. Creo que lo extraordinario foi aportar nuestro granito de arena en una emergencia sanitaria a nivel mundial a través de un protocolo de investigación universal que llevamos a cabo en estos cuatro países. Fue muy gratificante para nosotros y haber sido parte de esto me lo voy a llevar para siempre. For the first time in the history of mankind, we have changed the course of a pandemia using vaccines. We need to continue doing research at the service of health. Staying together as a community is the way to address future challenges, including future infectious diseases.